Hey everybody, Baron Dome here. So I've been getting questions lately on how I've been doing the world downloads on 2B2T, that I've been getting the schematics and the single player worlds. So I thought with the new release of the world downloader mod, I would do a video on how I've done it. So down in the video description below, I've included two links for downloads. Uh, one is the light loader application, which you're going to need to install. And the other is the world downloader mod, which we're going to install after we install light loader. So I'm going to step you through the process of doing the installations. And then we're going to go ahead and do a test of a download of 2B2T and then play it on a single player world. First, you want to make sure that Minecraft is completely closed out. And then we're going to go ahead and run the light loader application. So we want to install the light loader, version 1.11.2. And it's, you just need to leave it in the directory that it's at. You don't need to make any changes. Click OK. And it's going to tell you that it created a new profile. And that's the profile we need to run when we want to do our world downloader mod. Okay, now before we can install the mod, we actually have to start up the light loader uh, mod version once, let it play for a little bit. That way it just generates some of the files that it needs to in the Minecraft folder. So let's go ahead and start up Minecraft. Okay, so I've got the Minecraft launcher open. And the profile you need to choose is the light loader 1.11.2. And then click play. Once Minecraft has been up and loaded, it'll look pretty much the exact same, except up the top right, you're going to see this little tab sticking out right there. And that just lets you know if you have any mods loaded for the light loader, uh, which we don't right now. So this will be where we will see if the mod is successfully loaded. Now what we need to do is just start up a single player world or even get on a multiplayer world just so it can install some files it needs to after the first run. So I'm just going to jump into a single player world real quick, mess around for a little bit, and then exit out and then completely close out Minecraft. Okay, now we need to install the world downloader mod. To get there, we have to install it into the Minecraft folder, which you can access by doing percent app data, percent, pressing enter. And then you open up the Minecraft folder, and then you're going to go to this folder called mods. And in there, now you'll see this folder called 1.11.2. You're going to open that up. And then you're going to drag and drop the world downloader mod into that folder. Close out the folder and let's start up Minecraft again and select the light loader 1.11.2 profile. Okay, Minecraft has been reloaded with the light loader profile. And we're going to go up to the tab at the top right. Now you can see one mod has been loaded. And if we go over to it, you can see that's the light mod world downloader version 1.11.2 and it's active. That's what you exactly want. Now what you want to do is go into your multiplayer world and I'll show you how to download a world. Now that we got the light loader mod installed and we're online at 2B2T as you can see from the chat below, we're going to go ahead and start up the world downloader mod. So to do that you're going ahead and press escape and that's going to bring up the standard Minecraft menu but in the middle you're going to see a new button that says download world. So go ahead and press that. And you can go ahead and type in a name, or if you already have one selected, you can go ahead and click on that, and then click Use Selected World. And then in the chat below, you can see where it says Download Started. Now, to actually download the world, you have to be able to load the chunks. So my home base is a pretty big area, and it actually extends outside a lot of the, uh, the five to six chunk radius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around to all the different chunks where my base is at, that way it downloads those particular sections and that's what I'm kind of doing right now I'm just running around the the border of my base and also if you want to download the contents of a chest you have to actually open up the chest itself so you see how I'm opening the chest right now and then down at the chat below it's saying save double chest contents so for every chest that you want to save you have to do that And that counts for Ender Chest 2. Okay, now that we've walked around to all the different chunks that we want saved, we're going to go ahead and press Escape again to bring up the menu and press Stop Download. And then what it's going to do is just go through a final saving process to download everything. Now that you've done that, we can go ahead and quit multiplayer. And then we'll go ahead and load up the single player world. So I'm going to go ahead and go into single player. And then it's going to be right at the top of your saved worlds. So we'll go ahead and click that and click play. 
And then as you can see, it looks like I'm exactly the same. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to type game mode one to get put me in creative mode. So as you can see, I'm actually flying around in creative. And there's a lot more mobs over here than there usually are. So I'm going to change it to peaceful so they're gone. And as you can see, I can fly around now. And I'm opening up the chests too. And you can see that those contents are the exact same that are in there. However, I'm going to open up my ender chest and I'm going to pull out one of my shulker boxes. And there was actually something in this shulker box, but since I didn't pull it from the ender chest and then open it, it didn't download its contents. So that's the basis of how you use the World Downloader mod. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.